I thought we're actually a bit of an update, real time update. We're in Brisbane. It is currently 30th of June. Um, we've been working. Slaving away. Yeah. Trying to put some money in the bank. Trying to put some money in the bank. It's been a bit difficult actually. Yeah. Um, we've had a few repairs, had to do a bit of work on the car. Um, laptop died. Mm. Um, so I've had to buy a new laptop, which we've just got. So hopefully better punch out some more videos too. Yeah. Um, that's the plan anyway. Catch us up to real time. One of our 133 YouTube subscribers. Um, Dutchy? Dutchy, I think it is. Uh, yeah. Asked for a bit of a quick review. So we'll give you a bit of a, try and attempt at a, a product review, which is not something we've done before. We've had a couple of questions as to what prompted us to to buy it, to buy it in the first place and how we found it. Yeah. We brought the Black Series Dominator. Uh, we picked it up in Darwin when we were going through. So it was a 2017 uh, GIC or Black Series Dominator, forward folding camper. It um, was. I, I, I would say it was a bit of an impulse. Oh, totally. Buy. It wasn't planned. We were quite happy in the rooftop tent. Well, most of the time. Until we got to Columbia. Yeah. And we were getting sick of not catching fish. Yeah, I wanted a boat real bad, and I thought I'm going to tow a boat. I'm also a camper trailer and the tent, the rooftop tent was awesome. It made us move very quickly because every time we needed to move to use the car, we had to pack the tent up, which was a little bit of a pain after five or six weeks. We sort of started getting a bit annoying, annoyed with that. It was quite frustrating because, you know, we'd, we'd leave our campsite if we were staying at a campground and it would just look empty. So we'd have to just leave a couple of chairs there to make it look like it was occupied. So no one yeah. would come and steal our spot. We had people trying to move our chairs and steal spots. And... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I started looking, sort of leaving uh, WA and heading into the Northern Territory and we came across the one, the Dominator, um, in Catherine. So I just uh, arranged it, brought it on the way through and headed up to Darwin. So it was very much an impulse. It was very <laughs> much an impulse buy. Um, so but that's really why we brought it. There was no There was thought. no research thought as to which one we should get. No, nah, nothing. It just it had a boat rack on it. Um, it was brand new. As good as. As good as, brand new. Um, yeah. Minus a few grand because the guy had never registered it. I think it was used for like six weeks. Six weeks, some of that, and then yeah, we brought it. So, so that was the. So we paid fifteen thousand for that, and then I brought the boat off my auntie Rose's na neighbour. Yeah. Darren. Daryl. 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 <laughs> brought it off uh, um, Daryl um, for a couple of grand, and yeah, it was awesome. We. Really enjoyed it. We ended up living in it for about six months, I suppose. Stairs and the camper. We have a bed here to the left. Lovely space. Have a light up along there. It's lovely. Nice windows for ambient lighting and some fresh breeze. We have our fan, which is a lifesaver. It runs off the 12 volt, uses bugger all power and makes it bearable to sleep at night time. 30 bucks, so good. More windows all the way around and we have our couch and our table. That's about it. Got some curry here. Kitchen. It doesn't look the best, but I'm it, it tastes it. amazing. It tastes so this is our kitchen. Leanne, do you want to show them our kitchen? Yep, this is our kitchen. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we have a sink <laughs> with some running water. All right, which we're getting low on when they go and fill up. It's our handy dandy dish rack. All right, full of stuff. We have a three burner stove top. So this just slides out, so even when you're yep. on the road, you can just slide it out and just cook yep. away. So the whole thing just goes back in there. Great. We have drawers for plates and cups and stuff. All of our dishwashing stuff goes under there. We have a drawer full of the, what would you call these, the essentials? The utensils? The utensils, the essential, the essential utensil. Over we also here have a... Is our shower? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a bench. This little thing slides in and out as well. But lately this is what we've been using to store our shower stuff. Because we have a shower right here. 
at night time when you fill up a bit of water out of the out of our tank, heat a litre or so to warm it up mm -hmm. if we need to. Sometimes we don't even need to do that. And then we have a shower. It's, um, Just be like this. Plug yeah. it in here. Plug it in over there turn and turn it, it on. Really quickly. Have a look. Is there enough water in it? Uh, probably not. Go. Uh, you ready? Yeah, go. Yeah, there's not enough water in there. Oh, look that. at that. So we have a shower like that, basically. It's actually pretty good. Can't complain. And we get pretty good. We can have a shower between both of us for about five litres of water. So, mm. getting oh, pretty that's good at that. Shower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although, lately, it's been pissing with rains. We fill the bucket up with rainwater and have a whole bucket. And that is just. I don't even know how to explain it. Feels amazing. Over here, is we have our. We'll start with this drawer. This is like our food drawer. Kind of, this is like what we use it day to day. We've got, we keep, you know, just shit. Spices and stuff in there. Rices, eggs, wraps. It's a bit actually unorganized at the moment, but it is what it is. And then there's just a bit of a random storage up here. We keep canvas, poles, bits and pieces that we need. It's a bit hard to get to that one. So we just sort of fill it full of shit. Put that away. And here we have the fridge. Out the fridge drawer, broke, as you can see. so this all goes back in here, like that. Cable here. Yep. Anyway, that's enough. Um, and then that slides out, and we have our fridge here. Oh, 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 easy does it, man. Oh, it's got a little bit of nothing in there. Got a lettuce, some Cheese. drinks. That's what? about it. Some jalapenos. Cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Yeah, that a loop. I need to go shopping. We're getting a bit low. And yeah, it's just also. Random stuff. We've got flour there. We've got we got. We don't usually it's, keep it like this. This is, this is normally. This is actually very untidy at the moment. It's Leanne, Leanne hasn't been doing her job, so. No, well, yeah. It didn't let us down once. No, like there's. They're actually, to be honest, I think they're a really good trailer. They're pretty. They're on the so, very solid side. They do come with a few little quirks here and there. Like you, most people need to change the shock absorbers at some stage. Where I had to change one, mm -hmm. as you'll see, um, in Mataranka. But all in all, like it never let us down. We made it. We did do a few modifications. We I added a DC DC charger for the batteries, yeah. which made a huge difference. It allowed us to charge the batteries properly whilst driving and um, under solar. So basically, we were living off the sun for the whole time. Really, we yeah. plugged into power a couple of times, had to charge it off the car when it was raining or um, yeah, when the sun was out, yeah. we were fine. Did have a little bit of problem with mould towards the end when we were in Inskip Point. It rained for a couple of weeks and it was just so damp. It was just the humidity. Just the though. canvas. I think that's just standard. Yeah. The negatives, I think, there's not too many negatives. They they do require probably a bit more. You need a bit of strength. Yeah. I think. Oh. You could use the winches to yeah. open and close it. Um, they're a bit but they're, they're a bit noisy and slow, so I just threw it open, and which Leanne couldn't do. I couldn't do it myself, but I don't know. Was it the strength issue? It was probably more so the height issue for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was to pretty open tall. And close it. There's not a lot of storage in them. Yeah. Um, other than the front compartments, like once the tent's closed up, that's basically it. There's no storage inside. Mm -hmm. um, so we ended up with lots of stuff still left in the car, which we're trying to hope and kind of hoping to alleviate. Um, yeah, the car was still. The packed. car was we still. We ended packed. up having more stuff. Yeah, we ended up just having more stuff. Yeah. Probably one of the cons for me is the awning is a pain in the ass to put up. Yeah. The awning with all the poles. There's a lot of poles. A lot of canvas. Um, that was a big pain. If it's just the camper you're sitting up without the awning, it's five minutes. It was actually easier than the rooftop tent. Yeah. But putting the awning on was a pain. That yeah. was the biggest thing that lets me down with those. I know a lot of people change the awning for a way simpler sort of a system, yeah. which wouldn't be a bad idea. It got easier as we went because we knew exactly I got, how to do I it. got good at it. I could pack the whole camp up by myself in about an hour from yeah. a full setup to yeah. full ready to go. So yeah. um, they are a pretty good value for money. Just be prepared to spend a little bit. Um, I think wise decisions would be replacing probably the wheel bearings because I think they're just Chinese bearings. Um, we didn't have a problem. No. I, I didn't change the bearings. I just repacked them and checked them and they were fine. And I think it was a good, it was a really cool experience having the camper. Yeah, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't have like gone up the Cape and we just laxed at the Cape and went fishing and exploring and it was, it was a neat, awesome yeah. experience. And I'd say it to anyone, if you're going up there, take your time. Um, 
definitely take your time up there there's so much to see and do especially if you like fishing try and get a boat up there um we had a ball yeah it was definitely worth it for that and our trip wouldn't have been the, the same, same without, without it, it. No. um it was really waterproof um we had lots of rain never leaked it made life around camp once it was set up really awesome it was a house on wheels oh yeah um but anyway um yeah I don't know what else we can say about no, it. No, like I if you've got any, just... if you've got any specific questions, let us know. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. just maintenance. I made sure I greased everything, checked all the nuts and bolts, just pre just checking it before you do a big drive, checking it after a big drive. I know I found little loose bolts and nuts and stuff here and there, and to be it's honest, it's quite handy to have a handyman on the road who knows what he's doing. Yeah, so, so. probably get yourself a handyman. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks um, for watching our videos. Yeah, we'll try and keep up to date. Yeah, and we love the feedback. So yeah, yeah keep, keep keep the comments. Sending us comments, asking us questions. Do you want more information, more scenery, yeah. more? Yeah. Done. All right. Bye. See you guys.